Welcome to another edition of FACO Media. Last week, we did a video investigating issues plaguing other chargers such as EVgo, Electrify America, and ChargePoint. This week, we're going to talk about a completely different animal, Tesla Superchargers. There are over 728 Tesla Superchargers across the United States, and over 20% of them are here in California. I don't know if you heard, but recently Tesla has opened up their Superchargers to non-Tesla vehicles. However, that's still a work in progress because most of these superchargers doesn't work for non-teslas for example look at this one the charging port is still exactly the same okay there's no adapter on it so far in la county there are only four tesla superchargers that works for non-tesla vehicles we're gonna go to tesla supercharger station and interview tesla owners on their experiences with tesla superchargers how's your experience so far with the supercharger i love it yeah. can't complain it's been great i have no problems with it it's convenient it's quick i can stay in my car watch some videos go do some business on my phone then i'm yeah. then i'm done i've had a tesla slept for two years and I've encountered one plug that didn't work in the whole time. This is far superior to the other chargers, like uh, Charge America or the, the other third-party chargers other than Tesla. You just plug it in yeah. and boom, it works. I don't even go to the other ones. It's good. I, I, I've never had a, a problem uh, regarding the charging, so. I love the ones uh, that are by Vegas, like oh, in yeah. Barstone. Those are super, super fast. They're faster than the one here? Um, I feel like and they're very cheap. Mm -hmm. So they're like about six dollars, and I fill up the whole. I mean, I, I charge the car. <laughs> You're still in the gas mode. Yeah, because yeah, I have a truck. That's why. <laughs> uh, so far, pretty good. Yeah. We've taken several uh, fairly long and even interstate trips, and not had any trouble. So the the trip planner, it's, it works pretty well, right? Yeah. The only thing we've run into that was a real problem was we went from a warm area to a cold area, ah. and so the battery started losing capacity. Mm -hmm which had not been accounted for in the trip planner. Oh. And so we made it, but it was a little little white knuckle at the end, you know? So you kind of had to guess like how much it was that it, yeah. it was losing. We could see that we were getting uh -huh. going to get less miles as we went on, the number would drop. Well, I'm I'm loving it. Uh -huh. What would be nice if uh -huh. they if they changed the kilowatt hours. Cuz now was if you hear before 10 uh -huh. and and after 9, then uh -huh. it goes down. This is my second Tesla. I'm at $24 right now. I'm, I think I was at 40%. Mm. And before it was only like $12. So it's uh, going up. I know it sounds preposterous yeah. being that, you know, uh -huh. people who have gas pay a lot more, but this is the reason why we bought this car for that perk. I've noticed uh -huh. sometimes like if there's no car next to me, then uh -huh. it does go a little yeah. faster. Yeah. Not as much, maybe like a couple of minutes later, I mean earlier, mm -hmm. but pretty much it's pretty fast. So. Good. I've yeah. managed to come at times where it's not so busy. Um, there, I have come at a few times where it's so busy, but I think because there's so many, it goes quickly mm -hmm. and we're, we don't have to wait too long to charge. Do you have at home charging? I do have at home charging, but I don't. I usually just supercharge. If I need a, like a quick, you know, like a quick charger, I come here. If I need to charge at home, I just leave it at home overnight. I have the, not the fast charger, but the other one. And that one, I tried it actually for the first time the other day and it took two and a half days to fully charge my car. Oh, wow. Yeah, so supercharging is the way to go. Have you owned other electric vehicles before? I haven't, this is my first uh -huh. and I love it. Uh, no, it's my first one. And do you th what, what improvement do you think can be made? I don't have any problems with it. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Yeah, I don't have any problems with it. <laughs> no, this is my only one. Um, and you, what's your experience with this so far? Perfect. I, I love I love the Tesla. I love I love using it. You know the com the comfort, mm -hmm. and uh, I love everything about it. This is my first time actually. This is my first time. I mean, I had a hybrid uh, previous, yeah. but nothing like fully electric. But so this is better. You prefer this yes, hybrid. Yes, yes. Have you owned other electric vehicles before? No, this is my first one. H how's your experience so far with? I with love it. it. Love it, love it, love it. I, I really don't pay any gas because I have um, mm -hmm. the panels at home. Oh. So I don't pay electricity and I don't pay for gas. No, first one, I got my Tesla in December and oh. then a month later my mom bought a Tesla because she liked oh. it so much. Yeah, so first car, that's electric. What do you think can be improved? The door handles. Oh yeah, you, they're not they're not your liking? They're kind of a little strange or? They're difficult to use and grip and for the weight uh -huh. of the door and the size of the door they're small and ah. difficult to use so bigger door handles maybe that's a that's it. on your wish list that's my only wish right now yeah. oh and a 
and a handle for the passenger side on the oh, ceiling on the roof. When when the driver goes crazy, that you want to yeah, want to be able to grab hold. Yeah. What improvement do you think can be made to the vehicle? I see you only made it sort of like very white. Yeah. Whiter than like. Um, Wider than white. Yeah. <laughs> Think you know, I wish that we can open all doors. I only like my door to open if I'm by myself. Okay. So I don't let the, the I don't have the other doors unlocked. But if I have a friend, mm -hmm. I would like to be able to unlock the other door from my app, which ah, you can't do. That's strange. When you do have somebody around, you can't like automatically just open. Ah. Them. I have to go in the car and yeah. unlock it. Yeah. What they can do is what I found when you're in autopilot. Mm -hmm. And you're on the freeway and there's an emergency vehicle like the police has yeah. someone's pulled over uh -huh. if i'm in the fast lane and i'm doing 65 and they have someone pulled over the car will come will start braking uh -huh. abruptly uh -huh. so i find that dangerous so what i do i'm mindful of that so if i see the police having someone pulled over i'll turn it off for autopilot but that's uh -huh. something that they could do an update to fix i really like this one there's a lot of really nice details i don't have any mm -hmm. Nothing springs to mind. What feature do you think could be improved about the car? Oh, obviously the, the range. The range, yeah, I yeah. mean, everything else, uh -huh. I like it. I mean, like, you know, the system, like the options that you have, if you want, you know, yeah. and then just, just the range, I guess. Maybe when we're charging to be able to like get ESPN Plus or something oh, on yeah. there, other than Hulu and Disney. <laughs> I, but ever, other than that, I think it's great. As you can see from our interviews, people's experience with Tesla superchargers are overwhelmingly positive. So why are Tesla superchargers so successful compared to other EV charger stations, such as the EVgo, Electrify America, and ChargePoint? Well, for one simple reason, is because they have a vertically integrated approach. This means Tesla, they controls everything about the superchargers from the hardware, software, design, and maintenance. Okay, this gives them a very precise quality control over the charging station. So this means no matter where you go, the charging experience is exactly the same and it's very seamless. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please let us know what other type of a charging station you want us to do an investigation on. Okay, so far we covered EVgo, Electrify America, Charging Point, and Tesla over here. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.